Let's have a conversation about how to change page color in Adobe InDesign. There's two things you need to know. There's page color that you want to print. So your paper is going to be white, but you're printing a color onto the page. Or you're changing the page color to preview the color of paper you're going to print on. Now let me explain the difference first. Let's do the obvious. Let's change the background color and we're going to actually print that on a white sheet of paper. There is no real background color option that's printable. Instead, we need to add an object, just like you would add an image in the background to print that image. So the easiest way is to just grab the rectangle tool. The shortcut key is M. Adjust your settings here. Uh, for this stroke, I'm gonna just click none. And then for the fill, I'm gonna double click that and maybe grab a color, uh, maybe a really light blue color and hit okay. Now I'm gonna press the W key. You probably already see all of your guides, but W toggles between the preview mode and then seeing all the guides. And if you have a bleed on your document, you're gonna to want to make this rectangle either at least the size of your bleed or larger. So I could click in this corner here and drag and make sure it's the size of my bleed. It kind of locks into place pretty easily. So this is my background color, but obviously it's not in the background. So what we would need to do is click it, right click it, go to arrange and send to back. Now, if it doesn't go to the back, make sure you check your layers panel and you could even create a new layer and you could call this layer two. You could double click it, rename it to background, hit okay, and then drag it to the bottom. And so now we can take that rectangle and drag him into the background layer. And then we could actually lock that layer. So now anything we create is actually definitely going to be on top of that background. And we cannot accidentally grab that background since we locked that layer. So we have a background color and this background color is a real object in your design that's going to actually print. This will print blue. What if you want to change the page color but not print the color? Because I'm going to print on blue paper. I don't want to print blue on blue paper. We can actually do that too. There's something in fact called page color. So let's get rid of this layer. I'm going to unlock it and just delete it. Hit OK. All right, here's page color, right? We need to go to swatches. You can go up to window, down to color, over to swatches. Now inside of here, we actually have something called paper. This is InDesign's designation of the paper you're going to print on, and it will preview your entire document on that paper. So if we double click on this, we can change that swatch. Maybe I want to add a little bit of blue in like we had before. You can have this preview check mark so you can see the changes out there. Hit OK. This looks the same as what we had just done, except this will not print. This is basically a transparent preview. So it's giving you the ability to preview your document on the paper color that you're going to print on, but it will not export that color. It's probably going to export actually, and it's going to look like white in the PDF because all of your elements are just going to print onto that blue sheet of paper. So there's two different ways to change the paper color or background color here in Adobe InDesign. The first way actually adds a background color. The second way just previews the paper that you're going to print it on.